I've been waiting for a while to make this video. Um, I'm not going to be only talking about how to know if she's been around the block, meaning how to know if she has a high body count, but also I'll be talking about how to know if she's an attention hoe, somebody who has hoe tendencies, but not necessarily is a complete thought yet herself. So all of those will be combined in here, all right? Just, to pretty, just pretty much how to know if this girl is a good one for you or not when you're trying to deal with, deal with her in the long run. Number one, her snap score. I've talked about this. I made a whole video what her Snapchat score tells you about her. If her snap score is over 150,000, all right, I'm not going to break down that whole video where I talked about what her Snapchat score says about her in this video, all right, because I went on details on that video. If you like to know more about that, go check that video out. But just to summarize that video in here, if her snap score is over 150,000, to make everything simple for, simpler for you guys, just know she belongs to the streets. Okay, plain and simple. Why? Because fellas, when a girl has that much snap score, she doesn't have a life, first of all. And don't come in here and tell, give me this crap that, oh, I've had this snap score for seven, eight years. Yeah, my snap score right now is 190,000. And I've also had my snap for seven, eight years. And I know that when I first got my snap until recently, a year or two years ago, I was, on, I was glued to my phone, Snapchatting people all the time. And still my snap score only went up to 190. So it's not about uh, you having the snap for a long time. It's just about you not having a life. That's why your snap's so high. Snap score is so high. And also it tells me that you got a lot of people on your Snapchat, especially girls, right? They got guy friends and girlfriends. And we all know what these guy friends are trying to do. So do you really want to associate yourself with somebody, associate yourself with somebody like that? No, you don't. Because why is she on her Snapchat so damn much? Number one, she's getting cock attention from male. And number two, she's gossiping with her girlfriends. Do any of these two qualities or characteristics sound appealing to you when you're trying to look for a wifey or a girlfriend? No, it doesn't to me. Hey, you can answer it for your own damn self. Second one, her Instagram likes to follow ratio. And no, 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 not, not, not likes to follow ratio, but likes and followers. Let's talk about the followers first. If she has over 1,500 followers, okay? 1,500 followers on Instagram. Over that, she belongs to the streets. She's been around the block. She is an attention hoe. Ho. She got, she got hoe tendencies, all of that. But here's the catch. You'll see sometimes girls only have five, six, seven hundred followers and they still get five, six hundred likes on their pictures. If her likes exceed over 200, she belongs to the streets. Why? Because when you have that many followers and that many likes, your headspace isn't right, especially as a woman. We all know attention is currency for women, right? So... That's why when a woman is having that much attention, you already know where you will stand in her life. She cannot give up that life. And if she cannot give up that life, that means she cannot be devoted to you 100%. If there's other men in her life giving her attention, I'm not saying other men in her, li in her life, period, because she's going to have bosses, family members, maybe some really close guy friends but hey if you take my advice never mess with the girl with guy friends all right i'm gonna come to that in a little bit but family most definitely family and and workers bosses right if she ha that's why i can't say she can't have guys period but if she has that many guy attention you know her family members are not gonna try to sleep with her so it's a different type of attention she's going to get out of them. But if she has that many guy attention who, who's trying to sleep with her, she's never going to be devoted to you. She possibly cannot. Think about it. Put yourself in, a, in her shoes. In a, in a sense where you are a high value man. Let's say you're Brad Pitt or Drake or somebody very famous or not even A class celebrity, but somebody B class or C class celebrity, right? Some big time YouTuber, right? And you have 20 girls who want you, who want to date you, and are really down to earth, 20 girls in your ro rotation, in your roster, can you ever fully give your 100% to only one girl out of those 20? No, you cannot. You might be even dating her exclusively for two, three, four months, 
but can you possibly give her, can you possibly take all the rest of the 19 girls out of your head and throw them on the side and never even think about them for, a, for, for the slightest bit? No, you can't. You'd be lying to yourself and to me if you told me that you could. Same thing with her. If you can't, what makes you think she can? When she has hundreds of men, not just 20 men, everywhere she goes, Instagram, Snapchat, text messages, dating apps, out and about in public, that's why. She cannot pair bond. It's that simple. Obviously, the next one is very simple. If her, oh, sorry, before I go to that one, let me finish up with Instagram again. We talked about the followers. We talked about the likes. Now, we have to talk about how many pictures does she post and what kind of pictures are they. If she's posting over 10 pictures, if there's over 10 pictures on her Instagram, about herself it's not like she's traveling or she's showing off her work her painting her writing or any of that if it's just her selfies her selfies with her friends pictures with her friends at the pool at the beach all of this kind of stuff over 10 pictures there uh, pictures from different angles different makeup different lighting she's all about her you're all you, I, who, who was the rapper who said it? i think lil wayne said it no Chris Brown said it on the song Loyal, I think. He said, you're all about... No, no, Lil Wayne. Yeah, it was Lil Wayne who said that in that song, in the, in the song Loyal. He said, you're all about her and she, she's all about hers. She's all about her. She's, narcissist. she's a narcissist. Over 10 pictures, yes. And the type of pictures, fellas, if it's cleavage showing, booty hanging out, selfie, just, just a picture of her face. You'll see some girls, you're, you're run, run into some girls who just has... Pic uh, a picture of herself, of her face. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pictures of her face in a row. Twelve days in a row. One day, one picture a day she's posting of this exact same crap. Her face. Just from a different lighting, different makeup, different filter. She's all about hers. It's just a narcissist. That's it. So watch out for what kind of picture she's posting. If a girl has any picture of her, of her in a bikini... I already know the answer to myself of, of where to put her in my list, of how seriously to take her. So, and fellas, the reason why I'm so strict with my rules is because I have made something out of myself. I know my worth, and that's why I know that I deserve nothing but the best. If I was a broke dude, if I was the same guy I was two years ago, my restrictions, my, my rules strict my, I wouldn't be as uh, where they are today i wouldn't be as strict strict as i am today it's simple the, the the more successful you become in life the pickier you get of the people you want to you want to associate associate yourself with it's simple that's why you see rich people never hanging out with broke people never hanging out with low class people never hanging out with ugly girls there's a reason behind that but anyways next one i have is a very simple one her high body count if it's over three, I'll even give her the benefit of the doubt and give you one extra than what I require. I require two. If she has sex with more than two guys, game over. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say if it's over three for you, gentlemen, you shouldn't. I'm not saying what you sh what you have to do and what you have what you and uh, what not to do. I'm just telling you what should you do and what shouldn't you do. Take my advice or don't. That's up to you. You're, it's your life. I say that in every single video. Next one is if she asks you to take her out on a date. This happened to me recently. I was at the New Year's, New Year's Eve party and this tall chick, she's like as tall, almost as tall as me, like 5'11 or something. I'm six foot tall. So she's looking almost eye to eye to me. And I think she had heels on, so, so she might have been a little bit shorter. But with heels on, I think she's like 5'11-ish. She's looking eye to, eye, eye to eye at me, and then out of nowhere, like, she just started talking to me. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. This is a really good-looking chick. Like, when I say good-looking, I'm talking about her face. Her face was dolled the hell up. I don't know what she looked like under makeup. And when the lights came off, I don't really care. I don't want to know. If it happened that night, great. But it didn't happen that night, so I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But her body, her whole body looked like a complete surfing board. She was so skinny. I could fit my whole hand around her bicep. White girl, right? Skinny white girl, tall, skinny white girl. She's probably like 19, 20, maybe 21. I think she was 20. 
but like you could literally take her to the ocean and surf on her. That's how skinny this bitch was. And she tells me she's on Molly right now at that point. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And so I'm flirting with her this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I and, and she's, feeling, she's feeling me up. I'm feeling her up. She's really close to me. I'm, I have my hand on her ass. And um, I think her back, not, I can't remember if it was on her ass or not. It was, it was close to her ass and she didn't move my hand or nothing. She came in closer to me after I put it there. And uh, we started, she started grinding on me a little bit. And then I whispered in her ear, <clears throat> so what's the craziest thing have you done on Molly? She said, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm like, have you made out with a stranger? She said, no, I don't think so. I said, well, there's always a first time for everything, right? <laughs> she said, ha, 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 you're funny, whatnot, this, that, and the other, but I require a date. You have to take me out on a date first. That's exactly what she said, right? <clears throat> this was a shit test, and it really pissed me off. Like, girl, have you looked at your damn self? You think I'm going to take you out on a date? I was so pissed off, right? I was like... This girl has lost her damn mind. But I wanted to be an asshole, right? So I told her, yeah, sure, I'll take you out to the bathroom. <laughs> I shit you not, fellas. Those are the exact words that came out of my mouth. Yeah, I'll take you to the bathroom. She started laughing, and then she walked away. But, hey, whatever, right? And that got me thinking, why did she ask me to take her out on a date right off the bat? And then I answered myself pretty quick. I'm like, it's simple. She's been run over, run through, hella ran through. She's been around the block and back, and, by, and back to the block and back, millions of times. That's why now she requires a date. Because she knows that if I took her to the bathroom or wherever, just her and myself in a bedroom or wherever, she knows I'm there just to smash. She knows what I want. And how does she know that? Because she has had experience. When, I, when we say, how do I know if she's around the, been around the blocks, is, what we're really saying is, how do I know if she's experienced? Right? Watch out for that. Like, it's, a, it's, it's one thing where, you know, a, uh, you offer a girl to come over to your place for the first time, and she said, oh, I don't know you yet. I'm not feeling comfortable to come over to your place, to, to come over to your place yet. That's one thing. But it's a complete different thing when girls have on their Tinder bio and other dating app profiles or even tell you flat out that you got to take me out on a date first. Get the fuck out of here. You lost your damn mind. This is 2021 and you're going to come in here with 2015, 2016 game. I got to take you out on a date first. I know what's going on now, girl. You ain't fooling me with that. I know the last five guys you banged didn't take you out on a date. So why would I? Exactly. So, next one is her age. Now, this could be deceiving, fellas, okay? Because I know girls at the age of 18, 17. I knew of these girls when I was in high school who've been around the block. And now it's just 10 times worse. So, it could be deceiving, right? But overall, it is kind of safe to assume that an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old woman wouldn't have as much experience as a 23- and 24-year-old woman who's out of college. If she hasn't gone to college, which is my next point, actually, then chances are she's not as experienced. She's, she hasn't been around the block. Okay? It's simple. With age comes more experience. And when she hits that 18-year-old mark, then she goes to 19, 20, she starts elevating her prime to the next level, to the next level, to the next level, till she's 21, 22, 23, 33, and then it starts to go down. So as she's getting older from 18, 20, 20, uh, 18 19, 20, she's going to get more and more opportunities just because her looks are getting better. So that's why her age is very, very important. And that's why I said in one of my other videos that if you're in high school, yourself as a guy right now is a perfect time to find that future wifey and future girlfriend especially if you're a sophomore or a junior in high school after this it'll, it's gonna be way too late way too late even in your senior year in high school it's way too late for for you to make it happen but there's an opportunity cost for that too but we're not gonna get into that right now so look out for her age fellas personally i usually don't mess with girls 
uh, over 24 after a one night stance. Like I'll, I'll smash a chick for one night if she's 30, 28, 27, 35, whatever age she's in. All right. But mess around with her, meaning continuously see her. That wouldn't be happening after the age of 24, 24, 23, around there. That's just my preference. I don't care what your preference is. Because I just know too much and I've seen too much about girls after that age range. Even girls in that age range, fellas, it's like like 20 is the safe bet. 21, if she's 21, if she just turned 21, oh, game's over, man. Game's over. But I like to give some women some, some benefit of the doubt depending on how good she looks. But anyways, next one, as I said is if she went to college or in the military. <laughs> I haven't talked about this, right? The truth about college women, and if she's in the military, she's a hoe. I even made video topics like that. Go check those out. It's self-explanatory. In the military, she's with tons of guys around herself. She gets horny. Yes, women get horny too. And she got to take care of it. One guy every other week. Different guy every other week. And in college, fellas, if she's a sorority girl... <laughs> a lot of you guys don't know what goes on in college and behind the closed doors in the sorority and the fraternities i've been to frat parties myself i'm in college so i've been invited i'm not in a frat i've just been invited so i know what the hell is going on there i've seen it from first-hand experience i've been to multiple college campuses and i live in the midwest so just imagine what girls do in the big cities bigger cities than where i'm in now next one dating apps Again, fellas, these are just plain old simple ones. The ones that we always talk about. Then seeing tattoos, seeing her relationship with her father, etc., etc., right? Tattoos and a girl with daddy issues will always have high body counts. Mark my words. Tattoos, what kind of tattoos and how big are they? You have to notice those as well. If it's a tram stamp in the in her lower back, yeah, she's a hoe. If she's a sm if it's a small heart on her wrist, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Behind her ear, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. On her foot, something very small, sure. A little turtle, a little flower, okay, sure. But if it's a huge thigh tattoo, rib tattoo, between the titty tattoo, big ass shoulder tattoo, come on, wake up. Use the right head for a second, fellas. So tattoos, dead giveaway. Tongue piercings is the next one. Not excessive nose piercing, bull nose piercing, or ears piercing. Sorry, bull nose piercing, yes. Not excessive ear pier ears piercing, uh, eye piercing, any of that. But tongue piercing, bull nose, and bull nose pierce, bull nose rings. Not even belly button piercings, as big as tongue piercings and bull nose, bull nose rings. Huge div 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 giveaway that she's a hoe. Again, when I say if she's been around the block, all of these symptoms that I showed you so far, the signs, you best believe this girl has at least a body count of 10, at least if she's below the age of 20. If she's above the age of 20, at least 20 body count, at least. I promise you that. So bullnose, pierce, uh, bullnose rings, again, uh, by the way, fellas, is that this is a sign of a feminist if she has a bullnose piercing. But tongue piercing and bullnose piercing and slash or one or the other, ho. Ho for days. Fat women will always know they've been around the block because they, they don't have any other choice but to, be, but to go around the block. No guy wants them for more than two pumps. So they got to keep feeding their ego. How do they do that? They keep sleeping with more and more men. So fat, overweight women, yes, they've all been around, been around the block. We all know this. There's a reason why these fat chicks have a head game that big, uh, that strong. Are experienced. <laughs> Sign them up in a professional league somewhere. God damn. Um, that's pretty much it, fellas. You know, like from my personal experience, that's pretty much it. It's compulsive shoppers, compulsive decision makers, partiers, uh, girls who wear extra tight tight outfit. You know, always doing doing the extra, always trying to show off whenever she goes out, the attention horse. You guys already know the bits and pieces, right? The new ones that today we talked about was the, if she's asking out on a date, if she has very high expectations. Oh, that's my last point, if she has very high expectations. She herself ain't bringing shit to the table, but she has way too many expectations. Why? 
because she knows that she's been run through by no good men and she's tired of it. That's why now she knows that at least if I get run, run through from this point on, at least I'm going to make sure these men are at least somewhat high tier of men. I'm tired of getting run through by these low quality men. Usually these signs, fellas, will keep you safe. We'll spot a hoe out very quick. And if I have missed something and you guys want to add something from your personal experience, please let us know in the comments below. I love reading your comments. And sometimes, fellas, before you comment, make sure you don't use curse words and whatnot because sometimes I don't even see your comments because of a word you put in there that you're not supposed to because YouTube filtering comments out. I honestly don't even get to see some of your comments. You guys might think I'm deleting your comments. No, I'm not. I'm actually starting to get a lot more comments on my channel because my channel is growing slowly. And I'm not reading, I'm not getting a chance to see them, read them, read them all. Because some of them are being deleted, not even, just giving me the quick notification. And when I click it, it's gone, it's, just, it's disappeared, it's not even showing me. So be, be mindful of what kind of words you're putting in, in your comments. But I hope this video made sense. Follow me on Instagram at ZekePeak, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.